Android doesn't get the appreciation it deserves, especially in my part of the world. I often hear it being unfairly attacked, and I sometimes wish I could sit all these people down in a room and deconstruct all their criticisms one by one. So that's exactly what I'm doing in this video. Android looks worse than iOS. Honestly, for someone who is used to iOS, I don't blame you for being a little off-put by Android at first glance. If you're used to the super consistent and polished look of iOS, Android UI may seem foreign and even inferior, but I beg you not to dismiss it so quickly. See, I think a good way to describe Android UI, at least stock Android, is that it's somewhat of an acquired taste. It may take some time to grow on you, but the more you see it, the more you love it. And as someone who is really interested in UI, I think that the always changing, never fixed look of the Android operating system keeps it exciting and prevents it from getting stale. I like always having new designs to get my eyes on, look forward to, and enjoy. And although Android UI can feel less stable and less polished than iOS, its sheer interest and constant freshness really makes up for that. Android UI isn't worse than iOS. Maybe it's not as constant and no nonsense, but in my opinion, it has a lot more interest. And once you're familiar with it, you'll end up appreciating Android UI in a way that you never have before. Android isn't user-friendly. This isn't really a myth, but rather it's missing some context. I have a feeling that this statement is usually said under the assumption that Android's goal is to be just as simple and user-friendly as iOS, but that it's just not quite up to par. The truth is that Android isn't meant to be exactly like iOS. Android is more configurable, less hand-holding, and more techy, not by accident, but because it was built that way. While some users may perceive Android's techiness as a fault, it's actually a plus for enthusiasts who love applying their tech knowledge to every aspect of their device, and who enjoy fiddling around, configuring, and being able to have fun with their tech in a way that iOS just doesn't rival. And actually, as of recent years, Android now offers almost the same ease of use that iOS does. The great thing is that it manages to do all this while also leaving more advanced options available for enthusiast users. Android isn't striving to be just like iOS in terms of how its users can interact with the system. Rather, it has a different purpose and different audience. Android has bad privacy. Again, this statement isn't outright false, but rather incomplete. In fact, this claim is actually pretty ironic, because while it may be true that stock Android is slightly less private than iOS, what most people don't know is that by replacing stock Android with custom, hardened operating systems and using open source applications, you can create some of the most private and secure mobile devices available, way ahead of iPhones. Of course, taking this route is quite uncommon, as out-of-the-box Android is very much the standard. But the option is there, and with the right configurations, Android's privacy is not worse than iOS, but rather, it has the potential to be much better. Android is janky. By its nature, Android just isn't as seamless as iOS, but the reason why it may seem more finicky and complicated is because of the increased freedom that Android has to offer. With Android, you get more control, more options, and more freedom over your device, not to mention which kind of device you choose in the first place. And as we all know, more freedom equals more responsibility. Android's expectation that you know what you're doing and can take care of yourself is a byproduct of its additional freedom iOS, on the other hand, takes care of you, and you can relax while everything happens behind the scenes. The trade-off here is that you have to play by Apple's rules, and you don't get nearly as much freedom and granular control as you do on Android. So while the extra freedom can seem inconvenient and frustrating to those who don't care about using it, the fact is that Android allows you to be self-reliant and use your system by depending on your own knowledge. It's kind of like getting all your veggies from the store versus planting your own garden. There are pluses and minuses to both ways of doing things, and in terms of your operating system, it really comes down to preference. Android isn't janky, but rather the cost of its freedom is that it can demand a higher level of knowledge and self-reliance than iOS does. Androids are cheap. This last rebuttal is for something that I never actually hear spoken out loud, but that I definitely see play out in real life. In places where iPhones are popular, they've become sort of a status symbol, and there are some people that might judge you based on the kind of phone you have, just like they would with your car or your clothes. 
but just because something is the most popular doesn't mean it's the best option for you. I think you should use your phone because you enjoy it, not because you want to buy something to fit into the pressure of society. It's true that Androids can be only $150, cheaper than any iPhone, but Androids can also be thousands of dollars, even more expensive than iPhones, and anywhere in between. Plus, if you can get something you enjoy more for less money, then you're way ahead of people that buy expensive products not because they value what the product itself has to offer, but because they want it purely as a status symbol. Androids aren't cheap unless you own a cheap Android. Just because they aren't necessarily status symbols doesn't make them any worse. Go with what you enjoy instead of other people's opinions. I think that Android is a very misunderstood and underappreciated operating system, and I really felt the need to make a straightforward video debunking its most common criticisms. So send this video to the Android haters in your life. And don't worry iPhone users, I have an iOS version of this video in the works. Thanks for watching!